So uh, we've often heard from uh, KKR mentor Gautam Gambhir that there was one team he loved beating more than any other and that's the Royal Challengers Bangalore. In case you're wondering why it is I'm starting the post-match live of GT versus PBKS with this very statement, it's because I think there's one other person who also loves beating or inflicting pain on a franchise as much as GG loves doing with RCB and that is Rahul Tevatia on Punjab Kings. I mean, he started off with that Sheldon Cottrell assault in, Sharjah, assault in yeah. 2020. After that, he ended the career of Odin Smith. Smith. Then last time, Sam Curran. Sam Curran. And this time around, it is uh, Rabada who felt his wrath. Absolutely. I don't get what, what sort of a hilarious grudge does this man have against the Punjab Kings? What did they ever do wrong I'm just him? wondering, even though you get the nicest and the warmest of uh, receptions when you go to the... Uh, the state of Punjab, let's say, people are very welcoming there I, and they're known for serving very good food as well. Yeah. I think he had a bad experience with the food. <laughs> because <laughs> the legend of... So that's no thing to about that. <laughs> I know. Multiple times Siddharth. <laughs> I will tell <laughs> you... Siddharth of all people is the only rare person that I know who credits the Mumbai food more than the Delhi food. Let's please, not the please, please not start that. I'm not the rarest of the rare. Please not start that. you are rarest of the rare and the bizarrest of the bizarre. You have not seen many people, that's why. Because anyway, back today, to this match. Today, A.B. Tevatia showed why he is A.B. Tevatia for a reason. I mean, Sheldon Cottrell, check. Here, uh, Odin Smith, who incidentally became his GT teammate a year after that. And then didn't play a game. <laughs> didn't play a game. Then you had a Kagiso Rabada and a Sam, Sam Curran being hit Sam today. Sam Curran last year. Yeah. And also Sam Curran last year. So, his exploit of 36 of 18, 200 strike rate. 35 of 21 was the highest in the PBKS innings, by the way. That meant that GT continued to haunt Punjab Kings and a perfect revenge. Considering at the Narendra Modi Stadium, it was the Punjab Kings that pulled off a hike thanks to Shashank Singh and Ashutosh Sharma. Here, AB Tevatia ensures that Gujarat Titans are in with a playoff chance still. They needed this win very, very badly because had they lost, it would have allowed the likes of Punjab Kings, Delhi Capitals to have hope and also the Mumbai Indians because they are playing tomorrow. So, GT remain in 6th position and Mumbai Indians, they have one game coming up. In so, actually they have leapfrogged uh, GA, MI because MI yeah. won 6th yesterday. Yes. yes, but their net run rate. I just wish that they could have chased this total down but I think Mullapur today produced the other extreme. It was a very sluggish deck. You saw Liam Livingston and Harpreet Bra really spin a web. And that's why they just couldn't get going. They missed that man. For this kind of a wicket, oh, yeah. Shikadi was the ideal the candidate. Other one. Kane and Williamson. <laughs> I mean, but, but GT got the job done. Yeah. But Kane, I'm telling you, ever since his T20 numbers are absolutely but most say, You talk about certain targets being up the alley of certain uh, batters. This is the kind of target he would have, you know, had yeah. uh, for dinner very well. Very well. So, Gujarat Titans have gone to 8 and that's why they are in the 6th position. Gujarat have gone to 7th. Right? No, no, no. 7th. There's seven, RCB as well. Because RCB is below Punjab Kings. Okay, no, but then see, Rajasthan Royals are on top, KKR 2, Sunrisers 3, Chennai 4, LSG 5, GT 6. Ah, GT 6. And Mumbai are 7, GT Delhi are 8. Mumbai, Mumbai, are Mumbai were 6. And then, because now, now they have got only 6 so, yeah, points. So, now they have gone down to 7 because yeah. GT have come into 6th place with yes. 8 points. Minus 1.055 is their net run rate. Yep. And Mumbai, even uh, uh, Mumbai 2 points short now with 6 points at minus and they have a must-win game coming up on Monday, which is against the table toppers Rajasthan Royals at the Savai Mansing Stadium. Now today, see the entire conversation. Unfortunately, was this was this before you start, Siddharth? Was this a match that deserved to be going down to the wire as it did? Almost did, let's say. No, I think it's a combination of two things. One is that Punjab Kings, uh, Liam Livingston, Harpreet Brar, and uh, Harshal Patel pulled things back very well in the middle overs. And I think GT kind of didn't do themselves any favours with the way they were batting. Listen, yeah. you know that you needed 147 to win. That's not a big total. Uh, one, how much did they need? 140, 143. Yeah, 143. Even. That's not a big total by any stretch of the imagination. Not even in the pre-IPL era where you saw 200s being it for fun. Was 140 ever a challenging total? 170, 180 would be par at that yeah. point in time. 140 was always under par even on a tricky surface. Having said that, I think they didn't apply themselves as much. The simple reason that they lost some cheap wickets. Yeah. David Miller, for instance... 
I I didn't understand his old kryptonite against spin is starting exactly. to show. Exactly, and even for that matter, Azmatullah Azmatullah Omar Zai, what was the need for going for that shot against Harshal? You were thirteen of nine. You know that batting through, which by the way Omar Zai does very well yeah. in ODI cricket, he can bat through and get you some decent chunk of scores. All he had to do was that, and it would look like a very comfortable victory. Even it's, a Mohammad Shahrukh Khan bad stroke. Oh yeah, very bad shot. Very bad shot, and also Rashid Khan. Okay, I mean he tried Kinder something, of a catch but by Russo. got a catch. Yeah. Most of the batters, see, I will tell you, they were undone by bad shot selection. This kind of wicket needed application. Like we had in Eden, it was the other extreme where you came on the wicket, you could just go for it. Same in the DCSRH game. Anybody who came, it needed either a spectacular mental block, like what Rishabh Pan showed you, to botch up a chase. Here, look at who go, who are in the wickets. So Livingston was in the wickets. So Harpreet Brar, Web, uh, Arshal Patel, who bowls the cutters. Ravi Srinivas, Sai Kishore. He was the guy who really pegged Punjab back. Liam Livingston. I mean, look at those guys. Liam Livingston. I mean, the classic dismissal was David Miller. He was, by the way, bowling leg, uh, you know, leggies today. He does bowl leggies. He does yeah. bowl leggies. Today, proper variety you got from him. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, at one point, Shena were talking as to how, you know, the, uh, the, the GT batters were making him look like a Shane Vaughan today. But, you know, it, it was part of it. It was bad yeah. short selection as earlier you said, Siddharth. But I must credit, especially very impressed. He's coming back from an injury, remember. Yeah. Uh, didn't deliver with the bat, but with the ball. I think gave away just 19 runs. Can you go down? 17, I think. He gave away 17. No, that's Arshdeep. 19, huh? Liam yeah. Livingston. Uh, yeah. 2 for 19. 2 for 19. In 4 overs. He he tried his offies. He tried his leggies. He was good with his variations. And that's where I think, because the ball that he bowled to, uh, I think, uh, Shubman Gill was a leg spinner. The other one that he bowled to uh, David Miller, that was the one that went straight. So he has Drift. the ability to do both. He to right-handers will more often than not bowl leg breaks. To a left-hander, he'll more often than not rely on his off breaks. Off I yeah. remember there was one season, I think it was 22, when Punjab made him open the bowling against DC. Mm. And uh, he was bowling, he bowled two or three different variants to Warner, who was all ends up, then got him with a, a offy yeah. that slid on. Yeah. So he does have the ability, he's very underrated as a bowler and in favourable conditions. Today he got generous drift. I mean, the uh, shot that Miller got out to use undone by the drift, more so than the skid. That's why this kind of a wicket, you may say uh, it's not an T20 wicket because you have been so spoiled. I was glad we got a game like this. Yeah, you know? because. SRH, RCB, KKR, MI, you look at those pitches where they play on, they are absolute roads. Today, Mullapur, credit to them, they have produced very good pitches this time. Now even around. Delhi. Delhi <laughs> also. the other day. Hey, it boundary. really slow, but it slowed down. Small stadium, you know, anyway, and they, then they gave an absolute yeah. uh, highway over there. So, Punjab Kings, whatever ground you give them as their home, they just can't perform. I mean, look at it. I think this is the fifth game that they played it's at Mullapur. the Mula fifth Pur. game here. Just the one game one that they game. won over here was against the Delhi Capitals, 23rd of uh, the previous month. March, the yeah. first, This was the second day of the IPL, the second the match of, of the Rishabh IPL Pant. as well. Yeah. Yes, the first match of the first double header it was. So, all of that, that was... Yeah. That also was a match, by the way, which could have had uh, the result go the other way, had no, it not been for a drop catch of uh, Sam Khan, who ended up scoring a match-winning knock yes. the other day. But otherwise, a disappoint. See, for for a reason, we we at the start of the tournament we weren't giving a lot of chances to PBKS. No, we gave them a chance of finishing bottom of the table. No, and but one team decided no, it's our right. That's what we would have been winning that particular prediction if RCB didn't come out of syllabus. Exactly, and. Today, see, the problem is because of the nature of this match, all the talk will be centered on the KKR-RCB game. Because see, there have been a lot of, I mean, Shane's done a video, I have done about two videos, the Virat Kohli, no ball. It will divide opinion. And yeah. unfortunately, such is the Indian space at this point in time, cyberspace and all the former cricketers also, that some will say, I say it. At the There's one who said it like that. Yes. Just that way. I will say it with all the confidence. Virat Kohli dismissal was against the spirit of cricket. And I will say with all the confidence that this person doesn't know the rules. Because the rule states very clearly it's not about where the ball has impact with the bat as opposed to. If it that were the rule, then Kohli was not out. But going by the written law of the game, if the person, that measurement of waist high is measured when the batter is in the popping crease. Yes. Virat Kohli was not in the popping crease. In case you're wondering who this gentleman is, hold on. 
we coming up with the video after we're done with yeah. the show all reactions that have come in with regards to this particular controversy which is uh, which should be a controversy if you ask us in the first place it is it's just been made up on the internet yes. it, it is being made up basis uh, the little optics that were on uh, on display in in the first match of the day and and definitely in today's double header will be the biggest talking point but refocusing on on the match that uh, there was the second uh, game on yeah. the day uh, a word on uh, shubman gill he scored uh, a good 80 odd the other time that they had played uh, punjab his father were there in the stands the other yes. day today as well in the stands happy to see his uh, his kid hometown get... boy unfortunately hurting his home uh, franchisee yeah. per se but yes But uh, given the circumstances, uh, because it just so often happens that the strike rate comes into question. Uh, today, though, uh, given the conditions the, and the target at hand, would you say that it calls for a debate? I, I doubt so. I doubt. I don't think so for sure. Because again, I think see today the strike rate issue nullified by two things. One, the fact that they were chasing 140. Yeah. to the fact that it was very challenging conditions yeah. and the pitch did not ease up let's be very very frank the pitch did not ease up and with the chase you know you can be a little measured i mean yeah saha got out early but after that you had uh, you know uh, shuman gill and i think it was sai sudarshan sai sudarshan again having a torrid time with that strike rate yeah, but strike rate yeah. i i will not uh, put much on him because again not today today, not today, today. It didn't really matter they needed to just get scratchy runs It, it Because, didn't have that many. Yeah, if you look at it, what was the highest strike rate in the entire match? It was Rahul Dravid. Yeah. Two hundred. I think even Harpreet Brar. I think scored. Was about two twenty nine. Just types. go up if you. Can. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, two, Harpreet Brar. Two forty one. But again, that came yeah. at a time when dead bowlers and also mostly the pacers were bowling. Yes. If you had spinners on this track, it was very hard to get away. I mean, can you believe it that on this particular deck? Ravi Srinivas, Sai Kishore, Shah Rukh Khan, Harpreet Brar were bowling the 16th, 17th, 18th over. That spoke volumes of how the pitch was today. And 241 and 200 out of say uh, 17 batters. Now people will say, oh, but you guys did not. You always want to call out a Virat Kohli. You want to call out a Rohit Sharma for strike rate issues. But boss, certain basic things don't change. Chasing. And setting a total dynamics and looking at it is very different. What are the results? A Shubman Gill 120 in a chase caught you the win. Whatever strike it be it 90, be it 100, be it 120, or even be it 220, you still won the game. So a Harpreet Brar's 241 strike rate will not be counted. A A B Tewatia's 200 will be counted. Why? Because it won them the game. It won. That's results the result. are paramount. Personality is not paramount. This is the game. I can't apply a Rohit or a Virat yardstick here by any stretch of the imagination because Mullapur has produced these kind of wickets. That's And good. Good that we saw these kind of pitches on Mullapur. You know, there was a variety. We saw a 200 game over here. We saw 150 game. So 140 And a 170 game. also. Yes, we saw 170, 180 game. Mumbai game as well. Yeah. So it's it's good that you got these strikes because otherwise we we've been spoiled for uh, big yeah. totals. And I'm quite frankly bored of it. I, See, Every game, two twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Ah. The fact that the fact you're not going to get these wickets in the West Indies. Three highest totals in IPL history have now come in what thirty-seven games of the IPL. If you And want a fourth one, four out of top five, four out of top five, all happening this year. Sorry, boss. The game not ended in the right direction. Then. Yeah, it's only batters, and you may as well replace the bowlers with bat- bowling pitches. And you're not going to get these kind of wickets. I mean, the Lord Mullapur leg. Like, you're not going to get 260, 270 in the ICC T20 World Cup. No, you won't get two. You, see, there's another reason why you'll not be seeing 250, 260 there because the impact rule doesn't exist. Doesn't Certain exist. teams will look to take their chances because they may have more all-rounders. England, Australia, the West Indies. You know, they have more all-rounders, but not every team will be loaded with those many all-rounders. And don't forget, this year the World Cup, the T20 World Cup, is a 24-team tournament, which means you're going to be seeing certain weaker teams play as yeah. well. So not every game is going to be like that. And for the better, I say, I think I want variety in my cricket, regardless of the format you see. Correct. And right now, you've not been getting enough of that variety. I, I personally, if you ask me, I want Kolkata to slow down the pitch a bit. Mm. I'd say, yeah, okay, I have uh, stroke maker, so what? But I also have three spinners. What is the point? I'm sorry. I felt sorry for Suya Sharma after the point. All four on a given day, if you feel yeah. like. I was feeling bad for Suya Sharma because he was clearly putting in a lot of effort. Ha ha! The Arshdeep Singh grants <laughs> were coming, and the ball was not turning for a wrist no spinner. For There's a no wrist grip. spinner, there was it was grippy, 
but there was no turn he was not able like his leg break was turning this much his opera his uh, googly was going this much and it makes no difference if i'm a batter and i'm seeing i'm not going to be scared of his variations because there's no turn i'll just hit through the googly leg was almost ineffective today. so was the leg break the leg break also wasn't turning yeah. and it's really sad because then again see someone like a narayan is a bit of a freak in the sense that he will more often than not with him it's not so much how much he turns it it's the variation the he'll change his lines one of the most effective lines he'll have is when the batsman is trying to back away from the stumps he'll follow him so he'll cramp you for room so that becomes a very hard shot to get away not everyone is going to do that same with the varun mystery yeah. is that he'll operate or use multiple variations there's this straight sometimes he'll bowl seam up but you know it's not fair to your traditional spinners yeah. i want like a suyash was really struggling and i felt bad because he wasn't bowling badly it's just the numbers will make him look average yeah. because he was getting nothing he should actually be bowling in mullapur that oh, he would have been he would have been oh. getting six wickets yeah. if he was bowling in mullapur but so, the one bowler you know since we're talking about spinners and, and this was a, this was a pitch that did aid spinners let's talk about the one pacer that was impressive today harshal patel purple patel for t20 world cup 3 harshal for 15 harshal patel was very impressive today and he's level i think with 12 wickets i think he's just behind jaspreet bumrah he's uh, one behind jaspreet bumrah who has 13 he's level with uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh, uz chahal yeah chahal was 3 right yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah. so he's level with uz chahal right now he's one ahead of sam karan yeah. his teammate imagine imagine i mean this is harshal patel version 2.0 but i think i'll also again i have to give that caveat but mullapur is slightly on the slower side it is but you know it's not like you know he's prospered here every single time it's just that you know now two games in uh, it's on been the slightly goal. on the yeah two games in, in the running now or uh, two back to back games you've seen good performances from today of course his best performance i think in the ipl so far he's not looked as good as he did today yeah he it's a reminder yes and this is what we saw in that 2021 year as well that when the pitch does assist him when the pitch does tend to get slow harshal patel the dimensions of the ground suit him because uh, you know chinna swami and other grounds as well where he's bowled and the grounds been rather smaller it's easy to clear him he becomes readable but today making good use of the conditions not the smallest ground also yeah. we know mullapur and 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 just just the perfect execution of his skill but that makes me dread for him a little bit because punjab's next two home games are going to be in dharamshala mm. where we know pitch is usually very good and the stadium isn't exactly the biggest and uh, if it because it's the air is lighter it travels the ball, ball travels. travels oh yeah so that's why and today there is an issue here that punjab kings will have to address Now they are sitting at eighth in the points table. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, eighth or seventh ninth? or eighth, ninth. No, ninth. ninth. There must be ninth. No, no I think uh, I think they're uh, either. Uh, let's go. Yeah, the ninth. They are ninth. As I said, we would be right with our wooden spoon predictions if RCB didn't come out of syllabus. Now, two of those games, the destiny was in their hands. Hmm. Mumbai, had they kept their cool, they could have won that game. This game also, I mean, had they applied far more pressure, today a rabada failed. that is why and again the srh game the srh pvks game is another infuriating as well that why punjab just can't apply that they allowed themselves to go behind and 27 runs they managed to lose by two runs hmm. srh srh game this game mi game three cast iron games that they should have had the advantage they squandered i'll give you another example from today's game which in hindsight will really hurt them you know what that was the usage of the impact sub they brought in harpreet bhatia no, i'm telling you i'm telling you listen he did he have the impact it's his hindsight i know but did he have an impact with the bat no. barely didn't do much you could he have had 17.2 ha huh? and he batted at number 8 when he was when he has ever been a lower order bat as a so finisher you brought him in as a hail mary knowing full well that listen we are running short of batters and we need someone how much did he score can we just check i don't think he, he got so many about yeah well uh, let's see up 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 uh yeah 14 so, of 19 14. 14 of 19 that was your impact sub when you could have brought in rahul cheher who i'm sure would have been on the bench and if you had a cheher along with a livingston and a harpreet brah you may very well have won today's game it went to the 19th or oh, 20th over see it takes me back to let's say one of these srh games in which uh, washington sundar was named the impact player gets out got a golden ball. duck hmm. uh, and also consists of 46 runs in the game again he was impact sub there also yeah 
Delhi so, game. And, and this wasn't their first choice move. Let's say this wasn't their first hmm. choice uh, impact. So we we sort of knew before the start of the match when we were discussing you know, that Rahul Chahar would be the man to come in. I think the idea was, and it takes no great shakes to figure that out, that uh, because of the consistent loss of wickets, uh, it was a panic decision. They had to do something. They wanted runs. To, to be able to be in, in a position where they have something to play for and that was the idea, it didn't work, work out fully well but the uh, hope was that uh, Harpreet Singh would be giving more runs than uh, 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 Rahul Chair and that's why the move. This is another problem, Punjab don't have a plan B. PBKS when it comes to this kind of a situation they actually don't have a plan B. No, they had a plan B, they just didn't execute it right and actually should have stuck with their plan A. That's where, see, they were in a catch-22 because Rahul Chair is not giving catch me 22. options with the bat. Now do thought, I... Okay, let's somehow get to 150 maybe. We yeah. can get those 15-20 runs from Harpreet. The, the, then we have a chance, let's get, around, let's get around 150 and then we'll see whatever happens with the ball. Mm. With Rahul, I think they wouldn't have hoped for yeah. uh, those many Oh runs. man, I'm missing Nikhil because his pick, Ravi Srinivas Sai Kishore is the man of the match and Rachin Ravindra's twin will really, really be in a good mood. I mean, look at the hairstyle here. It's uncanny. It's absolutely uncanny. In fact, if he was part of CSK right now, then they would have been, uh, he would have added one more to the bad hairstyle gang. Because you'd have Rachin <laughs> Ravindra, Dube. Shivam Dube, him. Yeah, I mean, they are the Harry twins, I'm telling you. The Harry Maguire twins. Because look at it. They, the build is the same. The hairstyle is the same. They bowl. Looks also the same. And also the bowling is the same. Ah, Narsai Kishore and Rachin Ravindra separated at birth in a Mela. That's how it is. But he was the difference maker today. Four yes. wickets. And I think Narsai Kishore has not been playing much because I don't think he's getting conditions that suit him. But is he a condition dependent bowler? No, not to me. Because I understand the logic as to why he's done so well today. Obviously, on a slightly grippy pitch, finger spinners always have an advantage. But I think he's a much smarter cricketer than people give him credit for. Yeah. And actually, given the kind of form that a Noor has been showing in recent games, yeah, I know you had a good game today. But otherwise, some of those games, Noor was not looking good. You could have uh, actually subbed out a Noor, brought in Sai Kishore and then bolstered maybe your batting or bowling. Especially at the Narendra Modi Stadium, Noor has been going for runs of plenty this time. Yeah. And, and last year, he was very effective yeah. at their home ground. This time around, not been the case whatsoever. So, I think there are question marks there as well. I know GT have won the game rather comfortably today. But I do think I still, you know, they are kind of sitting in that sort of a place where they can make it just about. But they may not be able to make it because I think there's too many inconsistencies with the side. Too many. And that's where, see, again, I think they made changes today. Yeah. The big difference in the GT of 2022 and 2023 is they rarely made changes. They stuck to their plans. Here, okay, when was the last time they played a steady playing level? You have to think. Maybe last 3-4 games they have been always chopping and changing. Yeah, the last time they played a steady 20, uh, uh, playing eleven was the final of the 2023 IPL. After that, it's not been steady at all. Not been steady. Either someone's gotten injured and today, Mohit has not been in form. That's the problem. Noor Ahmad has not been informed. Your pace bowling line of either there is a Spencer Johnson coming in or there is an Aswatullah Omar Sai coming in. I thought this Mohit is not informed. <laughs> this Mohit has this to Mohit be in informed. Prime form. <laughs> there is no option given to him whether in form or not in form. He has to perform every single time. So Form, no form, must perform. Must perform. Motto of the IPL. Motto of IPL. And that's why... Mm. Yeah, I mean, Mohit, uh, this Mohit here plays a very mean smash. And mm. In badminton. Yep, so that's the thing. Today, Shashank didn't fire, Ashutosh didn't fire. And, and okay, I'm going to cut them some slack, their first season players. How much, how many times were you going to be hoping from a miracle from these two? And which is which, I think Punjab are the only franchisee that are relying on a 26-year-old from Ratlam who's playing his first season and a 32-year-old who was a mistaken identity. <laughs> they are the only franchisees relying on them for success. I can't think, can you imagine a KKR relying on a Weber Varoda and a Harshit Rana for success? Why is he describing our season? <laughs> okay, can you think of a Chennai Super Kings reliant on a Tushar Deshpande and... Uh, but you won the season with them, boss. What are you complaining with that? No, no, but was Tushar Deshpande the lone factor? He was, he was not the, the lone factor, the but the second half of the season, he was one of your best bowlers. So, he, 
Ashutosh Sharma and Shashank Singh they help Punjab Kings win the IP. I'm yeah. no, I'm telling you what, what makes or, or how they actually shoot themselves in the foot Punjab. They probably weren't hoping that Shashank and uh, Ashutosh would come as good as they have, but they are to be held responsible for after having made this discovery, for after having discovered and doing all the digging that there's a jewel over there. You're not respecting the jewel enough. Now, what's the cardinal sin that you're making? You're playing them do down the order. Mm. What is the point of having players who can give you, you know, 20 ball 50s and they've both done that now? Yeah. What is the point of having them both bat at 7 and 8? And then you're making the other sin of taking somebody who bats very well at number 6, who got into the Indian team back then at number 6. You have now promoted him to number 4 on a couple of occasions. Because of reasons. Because of yeah, and, and so it's a bigger of, sin, in fact, that you've been able to discover these talents, but you're not just able to slot them in the right positions. Yeah, speaking of that talent you were referring to, I mean, we know that he was very much in contention for a spot in the T20 World Cup. Was in fact the incumbent basis the last hmm. few series that you played. But are we now seeing that World Cup hope for him slowly but surely slipping away? It is like Jitesh Sharma is like a lamp. It's caught in the middle of a tumultuous storm. And I think the lamp is going to get extinguished. That is his chances at this point. And today again, 13 of 12 batted out of position. Punjab Kings are hell bent on saying, Jitesh, this year World Cup is de. See, the thing is, you're looking at just about a week's time left now. Roughly about a week's time left for the provisional squad to be announced. Yes, you can go ahead and make changes till the 25th of next month, I believe. 28th, that's 28th what, yeah. of next month. But in the provisional squad, how many games does he have? What were we saying, let's say, to the build-up to the 30th of this month, to the end of this yeah. month, that, you know, all teams would have played 7 to 8 matches. Most teams have, in fact, played 7. Some have played 8. Let's say, you know, he used to play one more game by the time that the selection committee is to announce that professional squad. What were we saying as time kept on wearing on in, 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 this, in the last uh, month, month and a half? That time is now losing, time is now running away, he's losing time, Jitesh. And with every game now, the pressure increases on him to be putting in a performance so that he remains in contention. Everyone else who is in contention has done something notable. But this man, the incumbent, has done little to hold on to that position now. Act. And now as a result, you see, he's possibly just left with one more innings yeah. to be able to do anything. Actually, if you look at this week, all our contenders for that wicketkeeper batter slot, they have struggled. Mm. Rishabh Pant in the game versus Sunrisers Hyderabad struggled. Today, please don't tell me that Dinesh Karthik's knock gave RCB hope. I'm no, sorry. No hope. It sank you. RCB was sunk because of Dinesh Karthik. Three balls which were cast iron singles. And on the fourth ball, he attempted a shot which was just not needed. Common sense went out of the window because you just had to take a single. Mm. Karan Sharma gave you three sixes. That was a bonus, a miracle. But who would have won you in that situation? A Karan Sharma or a DK? No, both could have won it. But again, DK in hindsight, now you're saying those three singles turned down. It, I mean, they only lost by one and run. 18 runs. If you had 21 runs, needed three singles. 18 runs, three sixes. You were done. You were done. Now, the kind of shot also, I'm sorry, DK has lived off the Nidahas glory for two years. It got him a position in the 2019 World Cup. Come on, if any kind of things are an indication, Nidahas was a T20 tournament, he got it in the wrong format, what happened? He royally struggled. Okay, 2022 IPL, he had a glorious time. But when he was pushed into the Indian cricket team, he got barely any opportunities. And then got dropped. And got dropped. And how quickly the incumbent thing changed. Oh, DK was your stable guy, right? But no, by the Zimbabwe game, you're playing Rishabh Pant. Now here, Rishabh Pant had a horror game versus SRH. And I'll say a horror game because they were not tough conditions. Short boundaries, flat decks. 44 of 35. And at one point, 18 of 22. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Sanju still is there somehow. Jitesh is having a horror run. Three guys and DK's had a bad run. But who's done well? KL Rahul. KL Rahul's done well because 82 of 53 in that uh, Chennai Super Kings encounter. You may be batting out of position. But boss, come a selection. The guy who's made the right noise is KL Rahul. 
See, that's the thing. I think they'll not look at one game. But for Jitesh at this point, listen, we know how... Is it fair on him? I wouldn't say entirely. Can we check the PBK schedule? I think they have got two more games, Shivam. Uh, yeah. The PBK schedule, I think by 30th. Let's just check. Let's just check that, shall we? So, they've got two more games. Yeah, two more They're games. They're playing Kolkata and on Gujarat. the 26th. Prior to that, actually so only one. No, only actually one. one. So today's game, yeah, just the one game now. Kolkata Knight Riders. And that too, that is 42. at Eden Gardens. <laughs> oh, Jitesh. I think the problem is now, I think he squandered it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, see, as I was saying, is it entirely fair? I would say no. Because, uh, you know, normally you'd give your incumbents more of a run. But is it well in keeping with how things work in the Indian cricket system? Yes. Of course. We know that we are swayed by uh, big names. We're swayed by emotions. We're swayed by star players. And Pant has actually got the numbers. We are swayed by numbers also. Oh, he's got this many runs. At this strike rate, Pant for T20 World Cup. Oh, DK has got 85 runs and 20 odd balls in a, a game where everyone was hitting it. But when it actually came to finishing a big match, he joked, doesn't matter, DK for T20 World Cup, it's just, it's just a typical thing. We now look at those numbers. That is the problem. As I mentioned, names. if you take a DK or a Pant or a KL Rahul, your entire batting order from 2022 till now has not changed exactly. in T20. What you have done is, and that's why my ultimate, that's why I get so frustrated. You got a Rohit and a Virat back. Which means your two individuals who are capable of playing risk-free cricket, new age T20I cricket, Yashasvi. You mean risky cricket, man? Risk-free cricket. I mean risky. Is. Yeah, risky, risky cricket. Okay. You have made it a Yashasvi or a Rinku instead of a Yashasvi and a Rinku. Or a Gill also, no? I mean, if you're looking at so it, where is Gill starting? No. You now, don't. actually, one of the suggestions was okay if you play Sanju. You have killed two birds with one stone. Why? Sanju is your number three. Can keep. No, they were saying that for KL Rahul. Because you get your other opener also. <laughs> oh. So if Virat... Are you Kishan? No, no. If Virat doesn't open and KL opens. Okay. So Rohit, KL, Virat, Surya, Hardik. Uh, let us check the date. It's supposed to be April 2020. We are, I'm sure it's 2024, not 2022. I'll say this. It's April. It's supposed to be April 21, not April 1, which is April Fool's Day. Because I feel like I'm being taken for a fool. Because see, now, day. I'm again checking. It's 2022, right? Or 2024. Because KL Rahul's made the right noise. Okay. Sanju, if you get him at number 3. Okay. Rohit Virat open. Sanjay Gil is Gil. your backup opener. Okay. He doesn't start. Yashasvi, I think, will not make it to the 15. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but your ultimate cardinal sin, are you going to play Rinku? No. If Rohit Virat open, then only a Rinku has a chance. Actually, right now, Rinku, I'm seeing his chance go less and less for a very simple reason. The way our vice captain is bowling. <laughs> Can you expect four hours from Hardik Pandey at this point? Mm. I cannot. You can't. See, the only way you were looking at accommodating all, including Rinku, was if you were expecting Hardik to bowl all four overs. Yeah. You can't. Because he struggles in the power play, he struggles in the middle, he struggles in the depth. Yeah, Chalo, fine, let's assume he finds back his mojo because right now, let's yeah. all admit it, he's, he's got seven with, more games. No, no, not just that. He's dealing with external factors. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Factors he'll not have to contend with as much in a World Cup. Okay. In an Indian show. Yeah. There he won't have to contend with it as much. People might be indifferent to him. They're not going to boo him off the ground. Yeah. Okay. Let's assume he finds his mojo back. He was best used in GT, where I think he's had his best run as a bowler or a bowling all-rounder or an all-rounder who does both when he was bowling two overs in the power play. And if the situation called for it, one in the middle, I never recall seeing him bowl in the deck. Never. It never happened. This time around, he's made himself the horses for courses bowler. And as a result, he's not really succeeded anywhere. He's not done well in the power plays. And don't even get me started on the death because if a 42 or 3 year old on one good knee can make you look like an average bowler, then so be it. I mean, forget it. I mean, if you look at recency bias, Hardik will be saved. Oh, but man, he only conceded uh, 12 runs in that one over that he bowled against Punjab Kings. But the dark underlying theme in that is a Kagiso Rabada could smoke you for a 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So that's the thing, I am seeing less and less chance of Rinku playing. 
So Jitesh then? No. I, I think he's squandered, it. he squandered it at the wrong opportunity and he's the easiest player to drop. And what are you talking about incumbency? You've had two cast and incumbents being shunted in the middle of the tournament and just before the World Cup. And, Ambati Ambati Raidu Raidu. and DK. Hmm. Wasn't DK your incumbent in 2022? But by the Zimbabwe game? No. Rishabh Pant. And Rishabh Pant didn't do anything. Exactly. So you brought DK back. <laughs> and you're now thinking DK for the T20 World Cup. Once bitten, twice shy, I think just doesn't, that adage doesn't add up to this Indian cricket team selection. 10 years bitten, yet not learnt. Yet not shy at all. Not shy. Yet not shy of making the same mistakes over and over. This I have to double check, triple check the date. Am I talking to this in 2022? Am I stuck in a time warp or is it 2024? That is the problem, which is why I'm sorry. Every passing game of the IPL and with Jitesh having only one more game, Oh boy, but that's all right. Great. Let's see. Let's uh, take some uh, super take chats. Some, we have gone on. Let's for take long. some swal because, quite frankly, I think there'll be a lot of dominance on yeah. one particular theme. Devyang, we'll start with him. Says it looked a no ball, but eventually was the right decision. Fine, VK is match fees, but his behavior wasn't that point that bad from my point of view. Thala and others have done much worse. No, 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 no. Thala did just as bad and also Boss, skipped a fine. Divyang, it was actually I was step further, I uh -huh. would say, because I was, he was not even in the field of play and then he stormed the pitch. I was of the advocate that MS Dhoni should have been banned for four to five games. You can't do that in the Rajasthan Royals. The one who transgressed was Pant. Pant, yeah, yeah. For, because Pant was the one giving the direction but, to but, uh, Amre. But unfortunately, Praveen Amre got the four. He was the fall guy. <laughs> Pant should have been banned, yeah. not Listen, Amre. There's all sorts of fall guys going to be coming. I can give, I can bet my bottom dollar that uh, maybe I think today KKR won't really told anything about their uh, over rate, right? Yeah. No, but RCB, let's see. We'll know now. Look, you did not have the guts to find an MS Dhoni. You cannot have the guts to find a Virat Kohli and saying match fees for the dissent that he showed to the umpire arguing and abusing. He should be banned for one I'm game. not sure of abusing. I mean, no, no, he no, did no, come back, he was shouting. Was, he was clearly visibly upset. And it's not the kind of behavior I expect from a, a senior and statesman. Boss, what are you talking about? Yaar? Now looking at this particular video footage with a foreground and a background, Everybody there will be justified. Oh, the umpire, I will shout, I will abuse at you. What you're going to do about it? I won't get fined. I won't get banned. I had stated at that time itself that what MS Dhoni did in 2019, the Rajasthan Royals encounter, I'm sorry. He deserved to be banned. Yeah, that was not good behavior. It was a level 3, level 4 descent, yeah. How same, could you same. march on to the field? Rishabh Pant also yeah. in the same category, I would say. You're, uh, you're right, wrong. Divyang. Tala and others have done much worse. But where has the punishment come? It's never come. And also, just because others have done worse, doesn't mean you should excuse others from doing bad. A bad president was set in the future, agreed, or in the past. But now, I think you should look to take corrective measures and just be like, listen, this sort of behavior is not acceptable. It is simple. It? Bad behavior is bad behavior, irrespective of personality, irrespective of fan base. Yeah, exactly. Bad behavior is bad behavior. Uh, Mr. Shekhar, the GTN, GTN uh, he says, says, Good evening and Awade gentlemen. Uh, be 206, be it 196, be it 180, be it 140, it's always either a Tevatya or Rashid who's standing at the end for his team. A B Tevatya man, Punjab Kings. Especially is... against Punjab Kings, there is only A B Tevatya. Absolutely. That man just, I, I'm telling you, you know, he has some vendetta against that franchise. I mean, Punjab might say no A B Tevatya allowed in the state anywhere. That's the thing. He's hurt them for five years. And Odin Smith became his teammate but never played. So that's the thing. And less said about Sheldon Cottrell, the better. Sheldon yeah. Cottrell vanished. He vanished off the face of the earth practically. Where is Sheldon Cottrell? Ek tha koi. Salute. Ek tha salute. I, I saw him play with one of the influencers the other day, but that was for another league altogether. <laughs> See, <laughs> gone into retirement. So Pranit Datta says that you had overs from Harshal, from Sam Karan, from Arshdeep Singh. Yet 16 was given to Brar against Tevatya and Rabada the 17th, who does not have an effective change of pace. Actually, more than the Brar over, it was the Rabada over that really killed the match. Yes, I know against Brar, uh, you know, uh, Tevatya batted smartly. He got a 4, then a 2, then another 2. So he was taking runs off and they didn't need that. A required rate of 8 mm -hmm. in the last 3 overs. But it was, in fact, the Rabada over which really killed it because, as he says, there was no change of pace. On a pitch that is gripping beautifully, you had Rabada bowling, uh, you know, I think he was watching Mitchell Stark and like, I'll take inspiration from him. I know. Today, Rabada had a holiday. He had redeemed himself in the game versus Mumbai, but today he had a holiday. And okay, there was something up. Hey, there's one from uh, Ghost Ghost, slightly up. Yeah. Something Satish B. Satish B. Yeah. 
प्लीज रिमूव आर एस वी के दे आर नॉट टी ट्वेंटी प्लेयर्स ओके फ्लैट ट्रैक दे आर स्ट्राइक रेट इज अराउंड वन फोर्टी वेर एस प्लेयर्स लाइक हेड जेक फ्रेज मगर्क सॉल्ट Jack strikes around 200. Satish B is not wrong. I mean, Nothing I was add. worried about the uh, Australian players. Look at the England players how they're shaping up here. Well, Butler, Jacks. Salt, Jacks. Be worried. Be really. And really by the way, Jacks is not a regular in the Indian team either. He's one of their reserve players. I know. And otherwise, if you look at it, who? Liam Livingston. Be worried. Be, be very, very, very worried. worried. Sam Curran also. He may not be doing well, but man, in the England shirt, he he tends to. England shirt, though. He won them last World Cup, yeah, effectively with yeah, his death bowling. He gave him all that repute that he presently enjoys of that being an all-rounder, eighteen point five crores finisher and what not. <laughs> but eighteen point five crores a season. But yeah. if Head and Jake Fraser McGurk unite, are opening, then you you are going to get a lot of next trains. Oh, I mean, you'll have Butler and Phil Salt opening for England. No big deal. Australia versus England. Oh and dear God! The Caribbean. <sighs> Oof. I mean, especially when you consider that Australia will have Mitch Stark with the new ball. I know. Although he strangely becomes a good player when playing for Australia, Australia. and Maxwell also and Marsh with the Australian colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, different yeah. beasts. Pranit Dutta, my ideal World Cup. Eleven. Gil. Okay, eleven. Gil, Jaiswal, Sanju, Surya, Dub, Hardik, Rinku, Chehel, Kuldeep, Arshdeep, Bumra. That's but the seniors will take open a slot. But I think two spinners is a two bit. spinners. Yeah, that that's the only problem that I see over there. Maybe I'd want this. You're only having five bowler options. Yeah, that that that's also the other problem. Yeah, just five bowling options. Yeah, and Arshdeep Bumrah. Unless you Hardik. unless you plan on bowling Dubey, six. But Dubey Hardik oh. they're the same I'll role. I'll find till number seven. Let's say seven, in this. Seven options: Dubey, Van Hardik, uh, Chahal, Kuldeep, Arshdeep Bumrah. You might as well six. include Jaiswal. Jaiswal, because he's also uh, got the ability to. Jaiswal seven. Now. Rakesh Bhushan and yeah, we'll move on yeah. and uh, take Rakesh Bhushan's comment. He says that uh, Suresh Raina on your sister's channel, London Top, says that two three teams who used to party in IPL have never won the IPL yet. Though we didn't name any team, but we all knew whom he's talking about. There's only three teams that have lasted the length of uh, the IPL since its inception, and that's RCB, DC, PBKS, who haven't won. RCB. In fact, that was a question that was then thrown to him. Are you trying to say RCB? He didn't quite uh, name RCB there, but you but get why? the idea. There's only three. I mean, I mean, if you go over any cricketing meme page on Instagram, there is one visual that is very popular, <laughs> <laughs> and we all know who's <laughs> doing. <laughs> oh so I mean, I, I will have to say that Rena is just speaking home truths. Home <laughs> truths, inconvenient for some, but can't help it. And, and who is he dancing with, Mr. Nags? Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, Mr. Nags and yeah. Danish Seth, I think that's his name. Ah, right? uh, yeah. Rakesh Bhushan once again says that when you have the height of player measured and programmed in the server, then why not height or no ball? As the one for the line is only called by third umpire, then why not height no ball? But that uh, is, I'm, I think he's. But that strong. is what is done. That yeah, is the reason why the height of the player no, is measured. He's saying why is it only called by third umpire? We will save a lot of time and. But that's because the on-field umpire is not going to have no, access to that technology. Exactly. exactly. Uh, Unless, of course, he's expecting something like golden technology, uh, like you have in football. The moment the ball crosses the line, it's a goal given. Moment the ball is out the ways, I don't know if that's the question there. No, it, it won't be. Sorry, we are not able to understand. No, he said that. Uh, he should, why is it that uh, is only called by third umpire? We'll save a lot of time. And no reference to third umpire. Rakesh, not possible. But how do you do that? Exactly. You need some sort of a detector, right? Otherwise, uh, you need detector. You maybe need those screens. Sense. You will Something. need to have a sensor, sensor around your hip area. And then the umpire gets informed if the ball's above uh, the sensor. Why a GPS, Bluetooth kind of thing? You also need a sensor in the bat that also tells where the point of contact. In the ball, you need a sensor in the Are ball you, like in football. Look, Rakesh Bhushan. I mean, yeah. I think you might have framed it a little better. But are you transforming cricketers into humanoids? Then you may as well have AI robots play the game, no? Ah, AI and robots. By the way, we're not too far away from there being a time where there are going to be bats with chips fitted in. There are already Intel's one of the companies I know that's actively into Means. cricket technology and all that, doing all of that to See, measure. See, in two thousand three, the Indian fans all said, "In Ricky Ponting's bat, there is a spring." <laughs> Now there'll be little chips in the bat. Exactly. There will be little chips. Oh, in ah, anyway, yeah, uh, so some I, other comments, please. Let's take other a few. Other comments for few of them. People yep. seem to say, uh, let's say, Mayank Madan. Mayank Madan Mayank says Madan has a point to make about Manchester United. Uh, I can tell you, I was uh, very occupied watching the other match, and I lost all my breath. In fact, stopped 
watching the match after a point where you thought that 121st minute was also a goal but i'll just take that comment from mayank madan he says united almost bottled it yes of course 3-0 up concede three goals like that i don't know how manchester united end up winning this though <laughs> again manchester derby in the final yes so was the case last year i believe it wasn't a dig at gg uh, at rcb he's talking about the tweet that which i've done GG. a short on yes it, yeah. he was truly appreciative i don't think listen he was not appreciative that was not appreciative by any stretch of the imagination because them showing great character would have been them grinding out the win mm. them bottling it the way they always do is not showing great character so he knew what he was doing gg is a very mm. clever man he is there is a undercurrent i sensed in that i think it's okay you put up a fight but i think your behavior on certain things mm, 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 kind mm. of uh, i mean it always takes me back to that comment of his no there's one team in my that playing days always, i yeah. always wanted to beat it was rcb Yeah. I'm not going to go into the reasons as to why he said the other things because a lot of people will get very triggered. But but that's the way you know that. He spoke the truth. He did. Of he did. He did. did. Of course. Asad Uzman, your top order strike rates around 140, 150. Other teams have 180, 200, and you're way behind as per the current time. Listen, you're not just talking about the top order, Asad. If you're looking at uh, you know who's been one of the best middle order bats in T20 cricket over the past few months, it's been Nicholas Puran. That man is striking it at about 160. 160. But batting at number four. Yeah. Number four. Will Jacks in the SA20 was hitting 40 ball hundreds. And, and you are, have one more guy, a certain Heinrich Klassen. Don't even remind me of him. Oh, presently he's striking around 200. Oof. Huh? Oh yeah, his overall strike yeah. rate. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so which, that's the thing. Which is why, guys, be scared. Be very scared. Because you are way behind the curve, and you've gone back on reputation. Five months prior to the T20 World Cup, you said no. These are our guys. You have gone back to the old school, yeah. tested, abused method of I mean, personality hitting you. It's tried, tested, but not very successful. As so, I said, once bitten, twice shy. No, eleven times fail, but still not learning. Uh, Aditya Varadhan coach has said it's a too one-way thinking to think that two spinners can't play overseas. No, Aditya, you can play two spinners and two full-time spinners giving you eight overs overseas if the spinners one of them is an all-rounder. Exactly. If one you, of them can bat, then you can. If not, then the answer is no. You know who does you really would want? I'd want in an Indian setup. If you're looking at say immediate vicinity, two players I can think of who give you that. One, if you're talking about our neighbours down south, Sri Lanka, I'd want a one Hindu Hasaranga. Oh, yes. Gives you that. The other, I know this will be an unpopular choice, but Shadab Khan from Pakistan. Yes. I know Shadab in the ODI World Cup took an absolute beating. But T20 is T20 is. He's a very different player. His batting is very effective. His spin is very effective. I would want to. For Shadab. Bangladesh, Shakib. Yeah, but Shakib is old news at this point. Yeah, I mean, still he yeah, continues to. Yeah. I mean, Shakib is. I dare say. I mean, someone who can guarantee you four overs, unlike say Jadeja, who's a two-over bowler at best. Yes, so so yeah. fair, fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Do we have uh, any other comments? I'm sure we'd have some more goal down. Uh, let's see. Uh, Abhish. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Abhay Chauhan says, "Please sign an agreement with Kohli, Rohit, and Jadeja that this is their last T20 World Cup. Only Sky and Boom of a T20s. I mean, no, I mean that doesn't happen, yar. It doesn't happen." Ah, Meet Vegasia uh, is pointing out that ABD's new tweet about RCB being the better team. Well, he's kind of channel Mohammed Kaif there, isn't he? Better team on paper. Better team on paper. Better team. I mean, doesn't matter. Boss, you lost. Yeah, How can they be the better team? My philosophy is a different thing. The game altogether. was played within the rules of the game. And within the rules of the game. Exactly. There is one team that won, yeah. and it's okay. the team that Shane here represents. And if you lose. How can you be the better team? I, I'm, I'm loving some of the tears. Really, very salty. Keep them coming, boys. Keep Aye, them coming. My, my, my. Your favorite sport, guys. My young mother. That's an interesting question. I think that can be our last question of yeah, the night. Yeah, that is. So that you go first. Uh, for me, it's chess. chess at the moment. Not just at the moment, in general. In general, huh? in one chess. Lovely game to cover, and if not chess, if you want an outdoor sport or something, hockey. Okay. Uh, mine, in order of my preference, uh, football, uh, F1, tennis, then cricket. That's my order. Yeah. My order being football, cricket, Ludo. then tennis. <laughs> Ludo is saying, look at this fellow. Look at this cheeky fellow. <laughs> Hit him with the bat, I tell you. Uh, please, <laughs> there is uh, there is helmets. Playing the same game as you. <laughs> there is helmets. There is glasses. There, please <laughs> do the needful. <laughs> Let's have a WWE. No, no one likes WWE, but I don't think they. No, I, I, I don't count it as a sport, Wait, but I love pro wrestling. Yeah, uh, love pro wrestling. 
Yeah, so that's our order. I mean, I didn't include cricket because I think that's what Ludo we covered. was, in fact, you know, during COVID times. Oh, during 2020, there was a COVID time. I loved, loved nothing more than Ludo. Yeah. 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 If you want any Ludo. other, uh, among other things. Yeah. I mean, there is also, I mean, in the Asian Games, there was a game bridge. 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 Mm. I mean, India did win gold medals in bridge. <laughs> Thank you. It's funny you mentioned Asian Games because I remembered Asian Games, Kong Girl Games and all. One game I really didn't have to soft spot for long. Long goals. goals. Yeah. <laughs> and in the Asian Games, the other miracles were equestrian. Oh, yeah. That's equestrian right, right? won your medal there. Yeah. So, yep. We have a lot of favourite sports. We are yeah. sports today at the end of the day. I know we do cover a lot of cricket, but that's because it's India's favourite sport. But we do in sports today, we cover other sports we also. We cover everything. It's up to you guys to ensure that you keep that passion for other sports going. Yes, guys. So, absolutely. But thanks, Mayank, for that question. Really loved it. Yep. So, uh, another double-header weekend has Oh, don't, 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 don't uh, breathe your sighs of relief just yet. This coming weekend has two double-headers. Two double-headers. So, so tomorrow, double -header. tomorrow it is MI versus RR. MI will be hoping to halt the RR juggernaut because then they will stay in contention and good news will be then for KKR, CSK and SRH then because then they can make a stake for the top spot. Oh, yeah. So, MI versus RR but don't worry folks, morning you may see history being created because last round of the candidates is beginning in 3 minutes oh, yes. time. Gukesh could create history. So, so we have to let Siddharth go for that. Yep. So, bye bye. Bye bye from all of us. From me, Shane and Harshit, that's good night. See you tomorrow. No, no, don't forget. Good night, Shubratri, Shabbakhe, Nandri, Nandri eat your vegetables. And don't trouble your mother. Don't trouble your mother. Keep coming back to sports today. Bye Every bye. day.